In a recent video, I put this Reefs RC servo winch onto my Red Cat Ascent Fusion. And that is awesome, but I found these little hooks that come with these things are kind of useless. You're hooking to another truck that has a nice bumper or something like that on it, then sometimes they work well. Or if you're at a comp event and you have one of those fancy poles that people carry around, it'll hook onto one of the little eyelets there just fine. If you're out here at the crawler course and you're trying to hook to a rock or something, a lot of the times it won't do very well. It'll pull a little bit and then it'll slip off. It just doesn't really hook onto rock very well at all. Similarly, if you're on a wooden course, a lot of the times it won't really hook to the wood very well. It'll just keep falling off. In order to solve this problem, the RC Chop Shop has come up with what they call the RC Land Anchor. And when you get it out of the packaging, you can kind of see why they call it that. Check that out. We have some thick steel curving over to two strong points. And you can see how when it pulls in, it's gonna anchor into wherever you're at. Pretty dang fancy looking. Uh, this is kind of a heat treated look to it. Looks cool, you can see the two parts welded together. What we're gonna do is take this winch off, use this one, and then we'll be able to give it a test. Just like that, now that is on there. Now you could probably also modify the other hook to where you could keep both. I just went ahead and put this one on just directly on here because I think one of the problems is now it, you can't just leave it dangling there. That's clearly gonna be an issue. But if you stretch it up and over, you actually have the ability to put a little bit of tension and you can hook it straight here to the back of the Red Cat Ascent. Fortunate that we have all these hooking places for it back here. The other cool thing about that then is when you're out and you need to start hooking to something, you already have a large amount of lead already loose. We can still hook it to another vehicle. That's easy enough. Can still hook it to a little Sorka Compi chain thing. That's good enough. Let's go out and see if we can hook it into some of that uh, stone and some of that wood that we were at earlier. All right, so this is right where we were earlier and I can now just put this hook right here. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think it's gonna hold as it pulls the whole truck up without me without me doing anything. So yeah, that worked. And then over here on the wood. <laughs> it completely drags the truck and that is anchored in there tight. I can shake the whole thing. So awesome. That worked absolutely amazing out there. Really glad sharp little tines here just dug in and pulled on the truck all it needed. Now, I'm not a winch expert. This I do not run winches on my RCs very often. I do wonder, does it really need to be this big? I mean, that thing, just for scale here, we're talking 100 millimeters long is the total length of the thing. Is there any way that it could be shorter and still be as effective? Maybe not, because you're really looking at pulling through these two points. And so if it was pulling through these points, maybe it would pull off, right? Like moment of force there versus down here so maybe it needs to be this long but it would be kind of nice if it was at least a little bit smaller maybe so i guess that'd be my only thing that i would think about if i was going to redesign it is is there a way to make it smaller but uh, for the reasonable price of this thing itself you can pick one up and if you're going to have a winch it might as well do the job there's no sense in having one of these things that doesn't do anything on the end of your winch line so if you're going to have a winch you might as well make it useful so if you are curious about it i will have a link to the rc Charp shop where i sourced this one and that way you can pick one up as well I hope this video was useful for you. If you're curious about how I got that servo winch in the truck in the first place, well, that'll be in my Red Cat Ascent playlist. It'll be popping up right over here to your right. I hope to see you in there. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer anything that I can. Thank you and goodbye.